This is Scott the Fixer Guy. Today we're dealing with a Whirlpool washer dryer where the dryer has a bad gas smell. So there's a little bit of a gas leak and it's happening when it's not in use. So we're removing this panel so we can get to a connection that probably is leaking. You want to spray some soapy water on all of the gas connections in the back where the flexible tube comes into the dryer to see if those are leaking. Those were found to not be leaking, so I suspect that it's a connection that's actually inside the dryer. So I'm going to remove that panel, make sure I unplug it or turn off the breaker. And once I get that panel out, I'll remove one panel underneath it. And there's about six Phillips head screws that we have to take out. And then we'll have access to this one brass nut that my suspicion is has become loose through vibration and is allowing a little bit of gas to leak out. So we're getting this gas smell all the time, not just when it's in use, but even when it's sitting there. And this is where gas would <clears throat> be coming into the dryer. So I think this is a Kenmore badge, but I believe it's made by Frigidaire. So I'm going to remove this little wire bundle to get it out of the way so I can get to the nut. I'm using, fill, I'm using my uh, needle nose pliers to push in and get this little plastic tab out of there. That's just going to give me a better room for my wrench. So I'm going to just squeeze in and then push up and get that out of the way. There we go. And I'm going to just use a crescent wrench, get it adjusted to the size of the nut. I'm going to grab the nut and then pull the wrench toward me. So this is, you know, the idea of righty-tighty. If you were to grab this nut with your hand from underneath, you would be turning to the right to tighten it. And that's what we're doing with the wrench. You can see the nut moving from underneath. Pretty, pretty big uh, brass nut. And it was definitely loose. I turned it about a quarter turn and got it tight. And that did the trick. So you just want to grab it, pull it towards you. If it's already super tight, then there may be another cause of the leak. But with this particular model, for some reason, these kind of vibrate loose over time. And then you get this very faint gas smell and a gas leak. It's more common, though, that you would get this in the back where the flexible tube connects to the dryer. So we got that really tight. And we're just going to put the panel back on. When I gave it a, a test, I turned the gas back on. Uh, there was no problem at all. So that definitely did get rid of the gas smell. And dryer's working great again. So thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe when you get a chance.